Hi folks, welcome to Studio 42's Parallax Masterclass series. In this series of videos, we'll be covering the many styles and methods of creating the parallax effect in PowerPoint. Today, in part one of the series, we'll be covering scrolling parallax. We'll start with a single background vertical scroll. Then we'll see a single background horizontal scroll. The third section will be multiple slides vertical scroll. And finally, we'll look at multiple slides with a horizontal scroll. There are time codes for each section, so feel free to jump ahead and watch at your own pace. Let's get started. Let's begin with the simplest of all the scrolling parallaxes, which is a single background vertical scroll. The first thing we should do is prepare our workspace by enabling the guides. By default, you'll see two guides, which you can drag to the corners of your workspace. And then right click, add a vertical guide. Right click again and add a horizontal guide. These guides will help us keep track of what's inside our workspace and all the content that will be outside the workspace because in Parallax, a lot of our content flows out from the visible area. So having added these guides, let's insert a picture. Now for a single background vertical scroll, it's important that our picture be larger vertically than the size of our slide so that there's space for it to maneuver. Having added the picture and adjusting its dimensions, we just match it to the top of the slide. And then our next step is to add a little bit of content. Let's align our content to the center of the slide and adjust its placement. We can also make our image darker so the content stands out better. Now let's add a second text box. So I'll just copy this one over, bring it to the outside of the slide and update the text. Let's make sure this is also center aligned. Now we need to mark the position of our main text, so let's add another grid line. Having done this, let's right click and duplicate this slide. Now the thing to remember is the text will be on the front layer of our slide and the picture is the background layer. So therefore, the text layer must move faster than the background layer. Let's select both our text boxes and use our arrow keys to drag them up so that our second title is aligned with our grid. And then we move the picture up but not as much as we move the text. And now I'll add a third content box, again outside the borders of the slide, and rename this as third title. And third subtitle. We once again 
duplicate this slide and on the third slide we can delete the main title select the second and third and again use the arrow keys to drag them up so that our third title fits the grid line and finally let's drag this image a little above as well Now all we need to do is add the morph transition to our slides and let's take a look at it. Smooth as silk. So as you can see the content on the front layer is moving much faster than the picture. If you want the picture to move faster, all you need to do is increase the amount you move it by from slide to slide. Now let's take a quick look how we can use the same method to create a horizontal scroll instead of a vertical one. So let's go to a fresh slide and insert our image. Now it's important instead of vertically larger our image is horizontally larger than our workspace area so let's resize this image i go to reset picture reset picture and size and this expands the image to its original dimensions i drag the image so that only a few inches of it are sticking out on the right side of our workspace area adjust it to the middle and then crop the top and bottom. Now let's bring in some content. So I'll just copy it from the previous slides, our main title and our secondary title. I drag the second title off to the right side outside the workspace area. Let's drag it a little further so when it travels, it travels faster than the image. We can also make the image slightly darker. Having done that, let's go ahead and duplicate this slide. And then select our main title. Use your arrow keys to drag it off to the left. And select your second title group and align it to the center. Then let's click on our picture and also use the arrow keys to drag it a little bit to the left. Now all we need to do is add our morph transition and we're ready to go. So let's take a quick look. That's beautiful. So now we have a good handle on how to create parallax on a single background. But usually in everyday cases, we have multiple slides with different backgrounds and different content. So let's learn how to make multiple slide parallax with a vertical scroll. Let's begin by creating three new slides. Let's prepare these slides like we would with any regular presentation by adding some images and content. So I'll quickly add three images to these blank slides. Having inserted the images, I will now quickly crop them to the right dimension of our workspace area by going to crop aspect ratio crop to 16 by 9.
Having adjusted the images, let's take a quick look in full screen to make sure they fit correctly. Beautiful. Now let's quickly add in some content. So now we have our three test slides ready. Let's see how we can convert these slides into parallax. Let's go to our second slide first. Go to the image and let's add a shadow to this. Let's offset it by the top and increase the size of our shadow and the blur. This gives our image a nice depth effect which will be useful later. Let's click on this image again, go to Format Painter and go to image number 3 and click on it. So the same shadow is painted onto this image as well. Back to image number 2. Let's select all our content from this slide, copy it and paste it onto slide number 1. Then, using your arrow keys, drag it down to outside our workspace area. Right click on it and make sure it's on the front so the shadow is visible. Then, drag your text even further down so that when we create the parallax effect, it travels faster than the image. Having done that, let's select all the content from slide number 1, copy it and paste it onto slide number 2. Let's use our arrow keys to drag it right outside the border of our workspace. Select everything, make sure it's sent to back. Select the image and drag it down to the halfway mark but leave the content where it is. Again, this will ensure the image travels at a slower distance as compared to the content. Let's go over to slide number 3. Let's select all the content, bring it to slide number 2 and use your arrow keys to drag it down. Make sure it's in the front overlapping the original content. Drag your text further down. And then select all your second slide content. Copy it onto slide number 3. Drag it to the top, send it to back and adjust the image to the halfway mark. Now let's add the morph transition to our second and third slide. And let's see if that worked. Beautiful. As you can see, the image is traveling slower than the content and the shadow gives it a nice beautiful overlapping effect. Now let's try the same technique and create a horizontal scroll parallax. So, as before, create three brand new slides and insert your imagery. Let's crop our images to the 16 by 9 ratio. And let's add our content.
I'll also decrease the brightness of this image so our content is visible. The same with the third image. So now we have our three images ready. So this time, instead of giving it a top shadow, we are going to give it a left shadow. So let's add the shadow by going to Format Picture, Shadow, Offset Left. Increase the size and the blur. Use Format Painter and give the third image the same effect. Now let's select our content from slide number two, drag it over, <clears throat> sorry, copy it over to slide number one and drag it over to the right. Select the content and drag it even further to the right. Then let's select all our content from slide number one and copy it over to slide number two this time dragging it to the left. Let's right click and make sure it's sent to back so we can see the overlapping shadow. Select your image and drag it so it's at the halfway mark behind. There we go. Let's go to our third slide. Again select everything and copy it over to slide number 2 and drag it to the right. Make sure it's in the front and the content is dragged over even more to the right. Then let's select the content from slide 2, copy it over to slide 3, drag it over to the left. Make sure it's sent to back and the image is dragged to the halfway mark. And finally add the morph transition. Let's check it out. Beautiful. That looks so smooth and cinematic. So these were the basic techniques for creating scrolling parallax and in the next part we'll turn up the difficulty by a notch by learning how to make these amazing wipe parallax transitions. If you find this content helpful hit the like and subscribe buttons to help out the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.